Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video. Um, I will say that right now it is currently pouring rain, so if you hear that, I apologize. Also, uh, I did some shopping this weekend and I have yet to put away my clothes, so don't mind that. But um, I just wanted to come on here and say happy spring into reading-a-thon. I am so dang excited for the spring into reading-a-thon this uh, this year. Um, I participated last year. It was the very first read-a-thon I ever took part in, and it just so happens that coming around full circle, it is now a readathon that I am co-hosting and I'm so excited to be a part of the team for doing this. It's just, oh, it's such a blast and the people that are a part of the spring, uh, the seasonathon in general are just amazing. Clint and Melanie are so fantastic and I love being able to talk with the authors and get to chat with you guys and watch you guys' TBRs and vlogs and stuff and I'm just so excited to be doing this once again. So let me quickly recap my TBR for the week and then we will move on with this vlog. Okay, so um, for this vlog, um, for a strong female character, I will be reading or rereading Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I will be starting this today. This will be my audiobook to and from work, and then I'll come home and probably binge some more when I'm at home because you guys know how I feel about this book. But I am really excited to pick this one back up. For a book that's been collecting dust on my shelves, I'm going to be reading um, Shadow and Bone by um, Lee Bardugo. Really excited to be reading this one since the adaptation is coming out next month, and I'm hoping to get around to most of the books in the series before it comes out. For a book with green on the cover or Look of the Irish, I will be reading The House of Lights by Jamin Eve. This is the third book in the Secret Keeper series, and I, this is another reread for me as well. And then for um, Over the Rainbow to read a classic fairy tale retelling um, or a classic, however you like to interpret that, interpret that I'm going to be reading um, A Whole New World, which is the Aladdin Twisted Tale um, in the Disney Twisted Tale series. So another book that I'm really excited to get to. Um, it also so happens that this is the weekend for Becca's, Becca's 24-hour bookopolathon. I'm going to try to participate in that, but it is on a totally different time zone as me, so we'll see how that goes. But I am really excited for this week. I'm so excited to be reading all these books. Oh, I'm also supposed to be reading The Group Book, which is a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. That is our group book for the um, for the season-a-thon this time, and I'm really excited to read that one. We will be having our live show on Saturday the 20th at 3 p.m. EST, and then an after hours live show at 8 p.m. EST on Mel's channel. All of it will be on Mel's, Mel's channel. By the time this um, video is out, it will be over, but you're more than welcome to go back and we watch, we re watch them. They are going to be a lot of fun, so really excited about that. Um, but, but now that I've entered you guys into the Spring Into reading a -thon vlog, I do have something that I would like to unbox today, so I'm really excited for this. This is a, um, a package that I have been, well, one of the packages that I've been waiting, waiting on quite a bit from AliExpress. I ordered a whole bunch of stationery stuff, so I, I really, really, really want to open this, and I figured I would open it with you guys. So let's see if I can figure out a way to get into this baby. So here we go. I have no idea which washi tape this is. I'm pretty sure it's washi tape. If It, uh, it might be stickers, but it feels like washi tape to me. Um, I have no idea which one this is, but I'm really excited to open it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. This is one of the green ones that I ordered. I just wanted some more um, different colors and patterns. And washi tape on AliExpress is so cheap that it's kind of like a no-brainer to order things like this from there. But this is a little set of washi tape. We have one with trees on it, some um, mon monstera. Is that what they're called? Monstera leaves and some other type of leaves. We have another one with leaves, some small leaves that remind me of... Um, Animal Crossing. We have some cacti, um, some really small dainty leaves, um, just like a green water like uh, wash, like almost like a watercolor. And then this one with, has like stripes on it, some green stripes. And honestly, I will be getting a ton of use out of this. I've been using washi tape a lot more in my bullet journal. You guys didn't see my marked bullet journal setup, but I used washi tape quite a bit in that one. And I am really excited to have some more washi tape to use. Um, I, I like the washi tape that I have, but these ones are awesome, so I'm excited to use these. I need to find a new home for them because my current situation is very full and there's no more room for washi tapes, but I will find a space to put this and use my heart out of it. So I cannot wait to get more packages. I ordered a whole bunch of washi tape, so hopefully some more come during this week. We shall see. But that is the intro to this vlog. I really hope that you guys are participating for this Ring Into Reading a Thon. If you are, let me know how you guys enjoyed it down in the comments below. But other than that, I will talk to you guys when I have some more time. Right now, I have to get ready for work and I will talk to you guys when I get home. Hi, friends. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update. I just got home. It's 541 on Monday evening. I just got home from work. It was a long and tiring day, but I'm happy to be home. But I did do some reading on my way to and from work and I picked up the audiobook for House of Earth and Blood. And I'm currently 85 pages in. Um, really not a dent in this big Tomo book, but um, I am loving every second of it. Um, the sad part of this book, well, one of the sad parts of this book already happened. And, you know, even reading it for the second time, I still got emotional because it's so 
it's just so sad. I have so much love for these characters and I'm just so excited to be rereading this and I cannot wait to read some more. So I'm going to sit down right now and just binge read this book and see how much I can get through. Um, I'm really excited to see like more of the book and like kind of like see the foreshadowing of the things that I could have missed um, reading it the first time. Um, and hopefully I pick up, some, up on some other things that I may have missed on um, my first read through. So I'm really excited to uh, continue to sit down and read this. I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day. My husband is gone at the moment. He is taking a jujitsu class. So I'll be here by myself for a couple of hours and I'm just going to chill. So um, that's my update. I'm going to go grab something to drink, sit down on my bed, cozy up on my blankets, and read. Hello friends, it is currently 11.41 on Tuesday night, um, closing in on Tuesday morning, but I wanted to give you guys an update. I did do some reading um, when I was going to and from work today, and I did read some more of Crescent City last night, and I made it to um, chapter 22, page 249. So, I mean, I made a good dent in this book so far, and no one's surprised. I'm loving it. Like, adoring it. So, um, I'm just so excited that I'm reading it again. Um, we're just now getting into like the part of the book that Hunt and Af Hunt Hunt and Athelar, thanks. Hunt and Bryce are really starting to um, interact with each other more, and their hate to love like romance that they have in this book is just so wholesome and beautiful. And I love watching it come into fruition, and just watching their first interactions and how like much of it of assholes they are to each other is just so freaking entertaining and I love it so much um so yeah I'm just so excited to be back in this world and it makes me want the second book so much more so I'm really hoping that we'll get some news on book two rather soon let's hope cross our fingers but um that's pretty much all the updates I have for right now <sighs> I know I should get a start on some of my other TBR books for the spring into reading a -thon, but I think tonight I'm gonna read some more of this seeing as I'm gonna be home for the next three days um Wednesday Thursday and Friday um so I have some time to read the rest of those books, but I just, I really want to read some more of Crescent City. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to feed my soul. I'm actually going to call my mom right now and then I'm going to read and then I'm going to go to bed. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow probably. Hi friends. I just wanted to come on here really quick and give you guys an update for the third day officially into spring into reading a thon, which is crazy. The fact that the time has just flown by and I haven't finished a single prompt. So I should probably get on that, right? I um, picked up another book today. Um, I don't have a bookmark on me, but I made it to page... I believe 54 of um, House of Lights, which is the third book in the Secret Keeper series. And I'm using this for Luck of the Irish. Um, that is to read a book with green on the cover. And this obviously has green on the cover. It's a perfect day to read this, seeing as today is actually St. Patrick's Day. So yay for me. Um, but this is a pretty short book. It's only just over 200 pages. So I might just be able to sit down tonight and finish this out. So at least I will have one thing finished for one of my prompts for Spring into Reading a Thon on the third day in. But I also did some more reading of House of Breath and Blood. And I am on page 293. So I didn't get a ton of reading done. I didn't do any reading last night. I ended up talking on the phone with my mom for an hour. And I was really tired after that. So I went to bed. And so I read 50 pages of this today and 50 pages of this today. So I read 100 pages today. I just haven't quite finished anything. So that is the plan for today. I also need to get started on the group book at some point. So hopefully I can finish this one today and get started on the group book tomorrow. I have to take my car in tomorrow to um, get an oil change. So I'm going to be sitting at the dealership for a while. So I'm just going to probably just take um, House of Earth and Blood and then take my ebook of um, a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares and just read that while I'm there. So that is my plan for the night. I'm probably gonna um, get out of these clothes because I'm wearing a rom not a romper, what is it called? A jumpsuit, and they're very uncomfortable when you have to go to the bathroom and stuff, so I'm gonna change, get comfortable, and then do the dishes to help with my husband because I'm nice like that. And then I'm gonna sit down and do some reading, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm just coming on here to give you an update. I finished a book for the Spring into reading a -thon, finally, and I finished House of Lights. I started it and finished today. It was a pretty quick read. Um, it was about like maybe an hour and 45 minutes with the audiobook um and it went by pretty quick when i say an hour 15 minutes i mean 45 minutes maybe two hours um i i say that like i read it on three and a half times speed so i read it pretty quickly but um i got through it really really quickly i gave it a four star the other two in the series i rated a five star and this one ended up as a four um i just think that like i spent a little bit too much time away from the series and so like my initial like 
like overwhelming feelings of like love just wasn't there but i still really really enjoyed it and i'm so happy that i'm rereading the series every time i read it it makes me happy so really happy about that when i first read the book i rated it a four so it's not like anything is different i just didn't experience the same love that i did for the first two anyways besides the point i finally finished this i gave it a four star one thing checked off my spring into reading upon tbr which is great um i have a couple of things like kind of just want to finish out since I'm so close to the end. I have less than 100 pages of Tuesdays with Maury, and so I would love to just finish this out and get my nonfiction out of the way. I also have about 140 pages of City of Brass to read, and this is my book club pick, so I would really love to read this and finish this. Um, that would be great. Like I said, I have about 140 pages to go on this one. And so if I have some time tonight and some more energy, I will probably just finish this one out. That way I can just focus on Spring into reading -thon books for the rest of the week. So that is kind of my plan. Um, tomorrow, I definitely want to start um, Shadow and Bone. And then I want to start a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares. because I do have to read it before Saturday. So, and then on... Uh, Sunday, I'll probably just focus on finishing House of Earth and Blood. And if I don't finish it during the spring of reading Blood, no big deal. I will just finish, just finish it out through the rest of the month. So that is kind of my plan for the rest of the night. I'm going to put on my fan, chill, listen to my audiobook, and have a great night. So I will talk to you guys probably when I finish this. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride. Hey guys, so it is 10:42, and I had just finished Tuesdays with Maury. It took me about 20 minutes to sit down and read the rest of this, and it was really, really sweet. Um, I don't know if I talked about like what this is about in any of my vlogs really, but this follows, it's a, um, it's an, a memoir about, um, Mitch's life and the things that he learned from his teacher, um, who was his college professor and he, they were really close when, um, he was in college, but you know, as things go, he graduated, his life got busy and, um, he moved on with his life. And then years and years later, his teacher was diagnosed with ASL and he starts to go over to his house on Tuesdays to learn different lessons from his teacher about dying and death and it's basically Maury's own story of his own death and it was very profound and very inspirational there was so many wonderful like um just teaching lessons in here about life and how you should treat people and how you should live your life and um the relationship that you should have with death and life and um joy and celebration and I really enjoyed it it was really nice I gave it a four star um I didn't like 100% connect with the like like the entire book so I think that's why it wasn't a five star but I really enjoyed it and definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good inspirational memoir um but other than that I haven't really done anything else I put it into call pile I'm just gonna finish filling out all my stuff for on my iPad and then I'm going to pick up um City of Brass and see how much I can get through of this tonight before I get tired and head off to bed so I will update you guys when I have more to say if you don't So as you guys just saw, I just finished um, The City of Brass by S.A. Shakaburi, and what the fuck just happened? Uh, wow. Um, it was really good. I, I would have to say, like, the first 200 pages were a bit rough for me. Um, the political, like, issues that were happen happening and the world building was a lot for me to wrap my head around. But, Wow. Like, once you get to the end, you have, like, feelings for all these characters. And the last, like, 50 pages is a bunch of whiplash because things are just happening. And so much craziness is, is happening. And I have questions. And I really need to read the second book because, wow. 
I still need to run it through call pile and everything and figure out what my official rating is, but I feel shooketh. So, I'm gonna go through call pile, try to figure out what the heck I feel about this book. Um, another good book to read for the book club, so I am not mad about it. It was... I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. It was really good, I liked it. <laughs> okay guys, I'm giving you my final update for the night. It is currently 1.25 in the morning, and, um... I picked up Shadow and Bone and I was gonna I was like gonna read like a chapter or two. Um, it's kind of addicting. I got sucked in and I read the first oh man, I can't even open this. The first seven chapters and I'm on page 118. Like I got sucked in and I am really enjoying this. Um, I think that I'm enjoying this more than Six of Crows, which I know is probably an unpopular opinion, but Six of Crows was really hard for me to get into. Maybe it's because I didn't really understand the, like, the world building and the magic system. But, um, like, I'm so intrigued by, like, the Darkling and just, like, this whole new world that, sh that um, Alina has been, like, thrown into. And, honestly, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to finish it tomorrow because it's really good and I'm kind of hooked. So, um, I'm really glad that I'm enjoying it, too, because I really wanted to watch the adaptation. And I obviously didn't want to watch an adaptation of something that I don't think I'm going to enjoy. So, really happy that I am liking it. Unfortunately, I don't own the second book in the series, though, so um, I only own the third book. So I have to look into getting Siege and Storm so that I can read the next one after I finish this one. So I'll probably read that next month and maybe binge the first, the last two books in the series before the adaptation comes out because that would be perfect, but we'll see about that. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed now because I actually have to wake up super early tomorrow to go take my car to get serviced, so I don't know why I stayed up this late, but I did it and it's too late now, so I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Hi friends, I just wanted to come on here and give you a quick update. So, um, I haven't done any more reading today. I went and dropped my car off to get an oil change. My grandma picked me up and we went to the zoo with my little siblings and my dad and my stepmom and we all just walked around for a little bit. And then I went to Michael's and I got a couple things. Um, I picked up this puzzle and it's foiled and beautiful and I decided that this is what I want to work on for the next couple of days while I listen to my audiobooks. So I'm going to pop in the audiobook for Shadow and Bone and listen to that while I do the um, puzzle. So that's pretty much the only update I have for the moment but I will keep you guys updated on the progress of the puzzle. I literally just opened it so I'm excited to uh, excited to sit down and do it because I, I love a good puzzle for sure. So that is my update. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Here we go, here we go again Time is up and I'm calling up my friends Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder why to Here we go, here we go again Call me up and you wanna be my friend I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide so I'm just giving you guys an update um I listened to quite a bit of my audiobook when I was doing the puzzle um I got to page 247 um so I have a good chunk left but I'm gonna just sit down right now and finish it up um and I stopped listening to my audiobook I went and started doing a paint by number with Isaac and he ultimately gave up about 25 minutes in <laughs> he was like nah I don't want to do this anymore and so I ended up like just working on it but I, did, I wanted to be able to focus on that without having to focus on this. So I just listened to some music and relaxed. And um, now I'm going to get back to reading this. Um, I will show you guys the update on the puzzle tomorrow. Nobody was talking to that bitch, but okay. <laughs> um, I will show you guys the puzzle tomorrow. Because with the artificial lighting, um, the because it's an iridescent puzzle it's bouncing back a lot and you can't really see it but when i have natural lighting i'll show it to you guys it's it's coming along we're getting there um but the fact that it is iridescent makes it even harder to like see the true colors so it's harder to put them together but i'm working my way through but i'm gonna sit down read this book and i will give you guys an update when i'm done and i don't think i mentioned it but this is actually for my um spring cleaning prompt and that is to read a book that's been collecting dust on your shelves so that's what this one is for and i'm gonna finish it up now so i will talk to you guys when i'm done okay guys so i am 
just giving, giving you guys my update, my probably my final update for the night, because I think I'm just going to head to bed and read my ebook while I'm in bed. But I did um, finish Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, and I gave it a four star. I ran it through Quad Pile, and it's a very, very low four star. It's like the lowest that you can go before you hit a three star. It was a solid seven points, and um, I think that the beginning of the book was very interesting for me. I really liked the um, like school aspect and um, Alina learning more about her powers and her growing relationship with the Darkling, but when the storyline takes that shift, um, in the, like, second half, second third of the book, second third, that doesn't make any sense, in the, yeah, I guess the second half of the book, what, in the, in the, what, in the first half, in the second half, I don't know, in, in some part of the book, in the very, it's towards, like, the middle, um, it takes a shift, and I just didn't care for the shift that it took, and the storyline that it went for, that went forth, um, I was like, I think I was just expecting one thing and got another thing, and so it wasn't really something that um, I really loved. Um, I did really enjoy the book, and I think that it's a, a good first start to a series, and I'm really curious to see how the second and third book um, continue, but I don't exactly know how I feel about the whole overall storyline of the first book. But again, so interested to continue. I do need to pick up the second book at some point so that I can read the second book and the third book to finish out the series soon. But I am glad that I read it. I'm happy that I read it. Um, and I can be prepared for the adaptation um, to start, which is really awesome. But I just wish that I loved it, like, all the more. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might have to go back and change some of my ratings to give it a three star. Because I just don't know if a four star is accurate to the way that I feel about this book. So that is unfortunate, but it's still a pretty good rating. Like, I still think a three star is fantastic. I mean, it would be a very high three star, but it just wasn't my favorite book that I have read um, in regards to YA fantasy, so there's that. Now I'm going to go and sit in my bed and read a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland on my uh, Kindle, well, on the Kindle app, and then I'm going to head to bed, and I will be up tomorrow bright and early to do some more reading, because I have to finish um, the group book tomorrow, and hopefully I can get some more reading of um, Crescent City done, and that'll be really good. So that is my update, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so I just wanted to come on here really quickly and give you guys an update. Sorry, I just kicked the tripod, but um, I have been reading a little bit more of Crescent City today. Um, I am currently on page 335, so I'm getting I'm getting my way through this. I'm definitely going to spend a little bit more time and focus on this today, for sure, but I also need to finish a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares today. I did start it, and I got about 19% uh, into it, and it's definitely um, different. I that's not exactly what I was expecting in regards to the storyline. I mean, it is, but it isn't. So when I um, read up on the um, synopsis of this, this book follows a girl um, who is an entire family is basically cursed by dying by their worst fears. And so um, Esther decides that she is not going to abide by these rules. She is going to avoid as many of her fears as possible as a way to not know what her worst fear is and then of course not die by that um and that changes when um she runs back into her high school i'm sorry her um uh, elementary school crush her middle school crush um and he's definitely like a bad boy he's kind of quirky and interesting and different and um she seems to have like a pull to him and so he decides that they're going to check off uh, all of her worst fears one by one and um, I was definitely expecting, like, a interesting contemporary, seeing as this has a little bit more of a um, kind of, like, fantastical feel just because uh, of the way that it's, like, put together. But it's definitely a little bit more, like, magical realism um, in a way. Um, a lot of the um, characters have, like, really quirky things and things that don't quite make sense. Like her brother, her twin brother, is afraid of the dark, and he will not go anywhere at any time during the day that, uh, I mean, during the night that doesn't have any light source, uh, but he can also, like, um, create fire with his hands and, like, light candles without using a match, or he seems to flicker in and out of existence and seems, like, 
almost like a ghost. And it's really interesting like dynamics because it seems like a contemporary, but it's reading a little bit more like a fantastical, magical realism book. Um, so definitely not what I was expecting in regards to the storyline, but I'm still enjoying it. I don't think I'm enjoying it as much as some of the other books that I have read for the Spring Into Reading or the uh, Seasonathon uh, TBRs, but uh, I could end up really enjoying this. I'm just, I'm not that far in to like give you a full definitive uh, understanding of how I feel. So that's that. Um, I'm going to film my TBR bingo video today because I only have one more book on my TBR and it's currently only the 19th of the month. So I have plenty of time to finish that last book. Um, and I just feel like filming it so I can get a head start on the things I need to prepare for the month of April. So that is my plan for the day. I'm going to, uh, film that video edit um, a vlog that I would like to get up to you guys today um, and then I will spend the rest of the day reading. That's really my plan. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later when I have some more stuff to tell you. Okay, so I just got a very random package um, from Amazon. I didn't order anything from Amazon, but I did get a message from Clint that I had a surprise on the way. So I figured I would open this up on camera and document it. So let's see what the heck this is. Okay, it's a book. Oh, shut up. Oh my gosh. Um, so I got Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm hoping that this is from Quince. Now uh, let's see. Yes. Um, this is my favorite book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh, OMG, uh, Love Me a Doctor from Your Fave Oki. I'm pretty sure this is from Clint, so I will definitely have to double check, but thank you so much. Um, I read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I really enjoyed it, and I really want to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by um, the same author, and I've been wanting to read more of their work, and I know that um, they're coming out with a new book um, this year called Malibu Rising, I believe, and I've heard it's really, really good, so I'm really excited for this. Thank you so much. Um, I will definitely have to double check that it was from Clint, and if not, I will properly thank the person that sent it to me, but um, my favorite Oki, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's Clint, but I'm going to double check there. Um, but thank you so much to Clint for sending that over to me. Um, right now, I'm just sitting down editing a video for um, that vlog that I want to go up today. It's going to go up a little bit later than my usual schedules, um, scheduled uploads, but um, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it out to you guys. I've been slacking on the uploads this week for sure, this month in general. I think I'm still feeling the after effects of my slump and still trying it really hard to get back into the swing of things. So I'm going to sit down and finish this. Uh, I'm going to find a new home for this book because my homes have been sad and everything is now living on a shelf that's already occupied. So it's getting a little crazy. Um, I need more bookshelves, but my husband said no more. So <laughs> I'm making do. But anyways, I'm going to go and talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so before the sun goes down, I wanted to show you guys the puzzle. I did the entire border and I am currently working on the beautiful lady here and the top of the puzzle. Um, I'll kind of show you the, the picture in, in a little bit and you can kind of see like what I'm working on. I have some bits and pieces down here that I'm working on and trying to make work, but I'm really struggling with this. All of the colors on here are really reflective when they hit the light. And so I've had a little bit of an easier time doing it in the daytime, but when it's at night and I only have my artificial lights on, it is very hard to figure out what color is which. Um, so it's been kind of an interesting experience, but I'm slowly getting there, slow and steady. Uh, one of these days I'll finish it, let's hope. And if you didn't see when I first showed it to you, this is what it's supposed to look like. You can even tell like the, the uh, box itself is iridescent, so we're having a little bit of issues with it, but it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to finish it. All right, and I got a few more packages in the mail um, just a second ago, so I figured I would open them up with you. I did get my Owl Crate Junior box, but I'm not opening that today. I'm going to wait for the other two boxes to come in that I'm getting from Owl Crate in the next couple of days, and I'm going to film just one full sit-down video with them. But I did get what I believe is um, my AliExpress order, well, at least some of it. Uh, I don't remember how many more things I'm waiting for, but we'll see what's in here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. There's a ton of stuff in here. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, everything's like packaged individually, so that's not ideal, but let's see if I can get some of this stuff open without breaking anything. Right, 
So in this first package, we have some stickers, which um, I am a, I'm a huge fan of stickers. Me and stickers, we get along, we are family. And I got some really, really cute stickers from um, the sticker shop. I'll try to leave all of the stuff um, I talk about in this vlog down in the um, description box below if you want to go check out their site on AliExpress. But I got um, these cute little fall stickers um, with some foxes and stuff. We have uh, this one here with like little rabbits and carrots, Christmas bears. Um, we have this little raccoon and some foliage. This one's really cute too, another Christmas um, one. And then again, the raccoon is back to um, grace us with its presents. So those ones are really cute. I will definitely get some use out of those for a bullet journal spread at some point. Um, that's the good thing about like stationery though, is like never, it never expires. So I can kind of use it at my own pace and decide when I want to use them and get some use out of them. So I'm really excited about those. Let's see what else we got. This sounds like washi tape, so. We'll see. Oh, yes, this is the washi tape that I wanted so bad. Um, this is like washi tape with like kind of an Ill illegible cursive. Um, this one has some more illegible cursive. And then this one is like um, scientific notations on here. I just thought that would be a really cool washi tape to add to some spreads that I wanted to be simple, but um, I can add a little bit something something to them with washi tape. So that is awesome. That was the one I was super excited to get. So we'll see what else is in here. I ordered these so long ago, I honestly don't really remember what I ordered, so. Oh, cool, okay. So we have this black and gold set of washi tape. I am a huge fan of gold anything. And so I really wanted some washi tape that had a little bit more gold accents to it. And I loved the like darker gold to them. So we have like um, one with stars and like um, different, what are these? <laughs> Planets, there we go. Um, some leaves, that one looks like just like circular bubble shapes, some moon and stars, some leaves. Um, again, like more foliage. We have just like a marble one, some more leaves, some more leaves. This one has hearts and this one is a grid style. So super cute. I will definitely get a lot of use out of this. Um, love that. All right, this is probably more washi tape. I ordered a ton of washi tape. Let us see. Yes, indeed, more washi tape. This is um, like constellation washi tape and I love the colors on here and the different constellations. I definitely wanna do a full constellation theme when I get the chance to do one. So this will be perfect for that. I am making a mess. Still have a few more packages in here. So let's go ahead and open this one. I'm afraid to like cut anything cause I don't wanna cut anything important. Okay, we have another singular washi tape here and this one is um, like the moon phases, but it's very iridescent. You're not gonna be able to see that, but it is gorgeous, it's stunning. Um, and I'm really excited to use this one. I got a lot of like, I tend to like be very attracted to like moon phases, anything. So um, I'm not surprised that I got a whole bunch of that stuff. Not surprised in the slightest. All right, let's see if I can get this open. Package within a package. <laughs> that was inside of another package because it was in another bag. So it's like a lot of extra packaging in here, but we'll see. Okay, this is my full washi tape set that I, that I ordered and this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's try to get this one open. Then we have one more package after this. All right, so again, we have some silvers and some gold and some black and white washi tapes. Love this constellation one. Um, we have, I don't even know what that is. What is that? That looks like maybe um, the different animals for whatever constellation it is. Some more constellation ones. These all seem to be like star or planet or uh, astronomy themed. And then we have some just like lined ones, some geometric ones, some star ones. These are really cute. I will get a ton of these out of these. So really happy, really happy to have those ones. And it looks like we have one more package to open and then we'll be all set with this little stationery haul. Yes, this is like the last package. So let's open this puppy. I'm definitely still missing some stickers, so those should be coming soon. This sounds like more washi tape. Can you tell I have a thing about washi tape? 
Okay, these ones are really gorgeous. These are like outdoor water and mountain themed like blue and gray washi tapes. These are absolutely stunning. I love these so much. Definitely something I can see myself getting a lot of use out of. And I especially like the size of these ones, like the thickness. Um, sometimes I find that washi tape, washi tape is either way too thick or way too thin in regards to the width. And I really like the size of these ones. So that is perfection. And as you guys, if you guys don't know, I've never shopped from AliExpress. It is super, super, super inexpensive. Um, like their washi tapes are like 10 cents, 70 cents, 50 cents, 80 cents. And so it wasn't a ton of money to buy all this stuff, but it does take quite a while to get things. Um, I ordered these over a month and a half ago and I'm still waiting for some of the other stuff that I ordered. So there's that. I'm gonna put all this trash away and maybe decide on where I'm gonna keep all of this washi tape and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update in regards to my reading. So I have been reading um, my book for the prompt Spring Break Bash, which is to read the group book, which is of course the semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. And I am now 54% into the book. I will be sitting down to finish the last hour in like 20 minutes of it right now. I'm just gonna pop on my headphones and chill and listen to that on my iPad while I read with the ebook. But, um, Clint let me know that there was supposed to be another package coming for me today, and here it is. So I'm really excited to open it up and see what's inside. So I'm going to open it with you guys, and we'll be surprised together. Okay. So it is indeed a book. <gasps> Shut up! <laughs> it's Stalking Jack the Ripper by um, Carrie Maniscalco. I have wanted to read this series for so long, like literally so long, and this is one of Clint's favorite series, so I am so excited to finally give this a go. I have heard really good things about the series as a whole, and I'm just really intrigued by this book in its entirety. Um, like, the idea of serial killers kind of intrigues me. Um, I don't like the fact that it's set um, historically in the past, because you know, you guys know I don't like historical fiction, but this one is an exception because it sounds like it's going to be a fun time, so... Thank you to Clint for both of these books. I very much appreciate it. You were so kind and so sweet, and I really, really, really appreciate it. I cannot wait to give both of these a go because I've heard nothing but good things about both of these. So I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to sit down and read the group book and charge my phone because it's currently dying and relax. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, friends, we need to talk. So I just finished the group book for Spring into Reading a Thon, a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. And I think this might shock you, but I loved it. <laughs> I know I was talking about at the beginning of this that I didn't know if I loved it and I didn't know what my feelings were about it and I really wasn't sure like if I was going to end up liking this. And I will say that if I was reading this on my own, I probably would have DNF'd it because the beginning took me a lot to get into and to understand the storytelling and the mode of narration that this author took in order to get her story across but at the same time i'm so glad that i was reading it for this readathon because i never would have finished it if i hadn't been reading it for this and i can say that getting to the end of this book was so worth it this book talked about mental health and depression and attempted suicide and um <sighs> child abuse and fear and death and mortality so well and it really was just a big metaphor for life and mental health and learning to cope with the things that really scare you and coming to terms with death and morality and it was really well done honestly i don't know what my rating is going to be just yet um because i kind of went through a really roller coaster ride with this book but i'm so glad that i read it and it'll probably be a book that sticks with me for a really long time because it was just so well done. Um, so if you're looking for a book that really talks about mental health and depression and anxiety and obsessions like an OCD and stuff like that, this is a fantastic book for that. So I'm so, so happy that I read it and I'm so glad that I get to talk to the author about it because I would really love to pick her brain a little bit more on the reason why she wrote this book and um, the meaning that it has to her because it was so, so, so well done. Very sad at times and very heart-wrenching at times but just very well done with a little mixture of you know two teenage kids falling in love and it was just so good so good so 
um yeah i'm gonna run it through call pile i'm gonna do all of my stuff that has to get done for like that aspect of things and then i don't know i might read some more of crescent city although i am sweating out here so i might just go lay down and call it a night and do some more reading tomorrow i don't really know i'm not sure what the plan is going to be just yet but uh, i'm just really glad i read that so that's my update and i will talk to you guys tomorrow hi guys um very different set up for me i usually update in the living room but my husband's currently doing dishes so i figured i would give you guys an update in my bedroom um today is the last day of the spring into reading a thon it is officially the 21st and i still have two prompts that i was supposed to finish and didn't unfortunately get around to today however um i did get a good chunk of the way through um house of earth and blood i am currently on page 4 uh 74 um, 475 really, um, of 799. So I'm gonna read a lot more of this tonight and maybe finish it depending on how I am feeling um, for the day. Uh, I still have quite a few pages to read, but I do really want to get this finished. So there's that. Um, I also picked up some books today and I also got some book mail. One of these boxes is mine, one of them is not, and I don't know which one is which. So I'm going to open them both up with you guys because one is a gift for somebody else. Um, so at work I picked up You Had Me at Ola um, by Alex Daria. I know this is a romance. I don't know pretty much anything other than that, but I have heard a really good book. Really good one. I can't read and talk at the same time. I've heard really good things about this book and I'm really hoping to get around to it soon. I also picked up The Kiss of Deception by um, Mary E. Pearson. And I've heard like really good things about this book series. And I think that this is a very interesting book because um, it follows a girl, uh, princess named Leah who is on the run from her obligations. And two people were sent to um, basically apprehend Leah. One is the prince who she was supposed to marry um, that she ran away from on the day of her wedding. And the other one is a, an assassin who is obviously paid to kill her. But as you're reading, you do not know who is who and neither does she. So it sounds like a very interesting book. It sounds like a really interesting fantasy. So I'm really hoping that I enjoyed that one. And then I also picked up Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. This came in use and I was like, um, I need it. It's mine. I love Marissa Meyer, as you guys know, and I really wanted to read almost like pretty much everything she's put out because I've read quite a few of her works now and I really love them and I wanted to give her contemporary a try. I think this still has some magical realism aspects to it, but I'm still really excited to give this one a go. But um, other than that, let's go ahead and open these boxes, see which one is for me and which one is for Clint, and um, then I can put my books away. So here we go. Right. Oh. Okay, this one must be for me. Because it's gift wrapped. I have never had a gift wrapped book before. So this is like literally, literally so sweet. Thank you to whoever did this. I, I love it. Um let's see. The inside says, please enjoy uh enjoy your gift. Please let me know. When you want to buddy read this because I'm so in for a buddy read. Sending your love from Karina. Thank you, Karina. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much for going the extra mile and gift wrapping this. Like, honestly, that is the nicest thing. Like, you, that is so nice. Oh, my gosh. So, let me open this and see what it is we'll be buddy reading because I'm very curious. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, so nicely packed. You have, like, it's, it's really nicely packed. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> Stop. A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttle Shuttleworth. Um, I heard a couple of people talking about this. This was also, I believe, a fairy loot book um, these past couple of months, and I've heard really good things. Um, it's supposed to be like a dark fantasy. Um, the thing here says, choose your player. Um, the inborn... I can't read. The ironborn half fae outcast of her royal family, a tempestuous fury, a tempestuous fury exiled to earth from an immortal realm and hell bent on revenge, a dutiful fae prince determined to earn his place on the throne, and the prince's brooding guardian burdened with a, a terrible secret. Ooh, this sounds amazing, and this cover is absolutely stunning. Uh, thank you so much, Karina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honestly, you did not have to do that, and that is so very, very sweet of you. So, really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And yes, we can definitely buddy read this because this looks amazing. So, there's that. So then this must be for Clint. So let me just open it up and make sure. And then I'll have to send this to him because I accidentally sent it to myself instead of him. So. Oops, 
yep, this is Clint's gift, and I'm not going to put it on here because I don't want to spoil it in case this vlog goes up before um, he gets this package. So, um, yay, I'm so excited, and I am literally going to keep this bag. This is, honestly, this is some, like one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for me, so thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go put all these books away because now I have books coming out on my yin yang. I don't even know where I'm going to put all of these things. But I need to find a spot because it's getting ridiculous. So I'm going to go and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm coming on here to close out this vlog and I'm going to make it quick. The dryer's going. I have really bad allergies today, so I'm probably going to sneeze a hundred times in between. So the editing of this is going to be a blast. But I did want to go ahead and close out this vlog and let you guys know what I was able to read for Spring Inch Reading Thon. It's currently Monday um, as I'm filming this, so Spring Inch Reading Thon ended last night, but I did um, end up finishing four out of the five prompts, which is amazing. Um, not as good as I would have wanted. I wanted to finish all five, but didn't quite get around to doing that, unfortunately. But what I did finish was Spring Break Bash. That was to read the group book. I did read A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland, and I really enjoyed that. I gave that book a four star. It was really enjoyable, such a fun read, um, a really hard, hard read as well. A lot of mental health issues, a lot of... Um, trigger warnings in this book so um please go in with caution if you are going to read that book i would definitely say um look up the trigger warnings if that is something that you need to do because it is quite spoilery but i want you guys to be aware before you head into the book um but it was very very good i also finished um spring cleaning and for that i read shadow and bone by lee bardugo i also really enjoyed this book i gave this a three star um i originally gave it a four and then decided to drop it down to a three star after thinking about it a little bit more i did really enjoy the book but i think that the first half was a little bit better than the second half in my opinion i am still really curious to see where the series goes though and i'm really excited to hopefully read them before the um, adaptation comes out in april so we shall see about that one I also read um, my, a book for my prompt, Luck of the Irish, which was to read a book with green on the cover. And for that, I read um, House of Lights by Jamin Eve. This is the third book in the Secret Keeper series. I gave this book a four star. Um, I really enjoyed all the books in the series. This is no exception. It is a reread for me, so I am not surprised by about liking this one at all. But I did really enjoy it, and I'm really glad that I reread it. And then I finished my um, prompt for Women's March, which is to read a book with a strong female character. And for that, I read Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I finished this book. Um, I am so happy that I reread this. It is still stands as my favorite book of all time. After rereading it, nothing has changed. I love this book just as much, if not even more, because I could really um, like see the foreshadowing and the little things and hints and stuff that I missed the first time around. And it was such a fantastic reread. I loved it so much. I still cried my eyes out. Um, and it still just brings so much emotion out of me, and I, this is a book that I wish that I could reread for the first time all over again, like, it's just a fantastic book, and could do no wrong in my eyes, I love this book so much, and I'm so excited, um, for the second book, I really hope that we'll get some more information on the second book soon, because as of right now, it is set on Goodreads to release November of 2021, however, we don't have a cover, we don't have a name, we don't have any information about it, so I'm really hoping that we'll get some more details on the book soon because I really need this ASAP like I needed it yesterday so um I really hope that we can get some more information on that but um these are the three physical books that I read for the spring into reading thon including um my ebook that I read um for the group book the group book which was a semi-definitive list of horse nightmares I really freaking enjoyed it I'm so 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 glad that I read all of these books it was such a blast um this entire week was so much fun and I am so so thankful to um Clint and Mel for having me a part of the team I don't think I'll ever stop saying that I'm super grateful and I'm just so glad to be um, able to participate in something as, as amazing as that with with the two of them as well as with all of you guys I really loved the fact that there were so many people that participated um, This time around and if you guys did and you're watching this, please do let me know um, How you guys did what prompts you completed what books you read and hopefully you enjoyed it um, But that is pretty much it for this video i just wanted to wrap this up thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it uh please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and of course leave any comments questions and suggestions in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video bye